Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel and thanks again for dropping by. Adobe InDesign is a world-leading software that empowers you to create beautiful designs that make your layouts glow. You publish magazines, posters, ebooks, and more, both digitally and in print with software that makes room for your creativity. Personally, I use Adobe InDesign whenever I create layouts or posters, printables, planners, and journals, and also low content books. And this is my go-to software. So here are five tips and tricks that will improve your InDesign experience. And by the way, if you're new to my channel, don't forget to subscribe and hit that notification bell so you'll get notified whenever I post videos like this. All right, with that out of the way, let's get into InDesign. Tip number one is populate text on every page to save time. A function of Adobe InDesign is a red plus a sign at the lower right corner of a text frame that indicates overset or overspilled text. So this is what I'm talking about. So there's this red plus sign over here. So if you're working on a page with overset text, you can thread frames together or click on a plus sign, then line up a new frame and your text will flow into it. Connecting frames using in and out ports is usually known as threading. So once you clicked on that one and you go to another page and just click on that and whatever text that's still in this text box will go into this text box over here and uh, you will no longer have that plus sign but that's not all you can save time by automating frames on every page until all text has flowed through an entire document by holding shift and clicking in the margins so that's what we just did a while ago and this is known as auto flow so once you have populated text or use an in and out port your pointer becomes a loaded text icon and you can now populate pages automatically and avoid having to create a new frame each time you have over set let's copy more text over here okay so if I click on this text box now I see another red plus sign here so if you go to pages and I add another page here now all I have to do is again click on this red sign and then go to another page and just click on the margin and that's it. So that's how you save time by populating text on every page. So next tip is find and replace for improved efficiency. If you're creating a text-heavy design layout like this one, you'll probably need to change some keywords or phrases along the way. So what you're gonna do is just hit Command F or Control F, or you can also go to Edit and then Find Change, and this dialog box will show make sure that you are in this text tab and just enter the text that or the phrase or the paragraph that you want to find so for example i want to find lauren and i'll just hit and find next there you go as you can see it finds every lorem word for me so if i want to change for example this lorem word into an uppercase lorem i just change it to lorem with uppercase what i'm going to do now is Every time I find next, I can either change that, only that word, or I can also change everything. So every lorem that it finds, it will be changed to this uppercase lorem. And also I can change and find and change and find. So you have the options over here. Let's see, find next. So this one here, it's lorem. I can change just that and it change it to an uppercase lorem and that's it and just hit done tip number three balance ragged lines to create cleaner layouts so when using text and typography it's important to have a layout that's easy in your readers eyes layouts can make a huge impression in your brand identity especially when you're using snappy captions pull quotes and centered paragraphs that help you create and stand out content we can utilize a simple function that easily balances your rugged lines like this one over here so I have this lorem ipsum and the lore and the lore is just hyphenated over here and there are only two steps for balance ragged lines first is to locate and click on your targeted text so just highlight it or you can also just click on the text box and click on paragraph if you don't have this paragraph it can be found in window type and tables and then paragraph so i'm just going to use this one so well your text is highlighted Click on this menu, tiny menu icon here, and click on Balance Ragged Lines, and it will go 
exactly that way. And that's it. Tip number four, preview mode creates a clearer picture with zoom. So switching between normal and preview mode allows you to see a cleaner presentation of your work. Clicking the letter W turns the preview on and off. So just like this, this is the preview on and this is the preview off. So this tool removes any excess bleeds, guides, and line loss, just like this one. If you can see this lines, the margins over here in a preview mode, you won't be able to see that one. It will present you with a clean version of your work. So you can also zoom in and out and you can see clearly your work. And that's how you use the preview. Tip number five, eyedropper color five panel selection. I already have a tutorial on this and I will put the link in the description below. So the eyedropper color theme tool allows you to sample popular colors within your document or within your design layouts. So for example, you want to use the colors from this image. All you have to do is go to eyedropper tool, which is this one, or it's called color theme tool. Just click on that. Or you can also do command I or control I. So just click on that and then click on your image or graphic or text and a floating palette based on the colors picked on will appear just like this one. See, it's got all the colors over here. It took everything and you can actually click on this and it will give suggestions for you for colorful, bright, dark, and muted. And you can also add this theme to your swatches or also add this theme to your CC library if you have one. And if you click on this fill tool here, you will see the color and theme that you've just created. Here they are and you can use this at a time. And so that's it. This InDesign tips will not only save time, but they also help you create impactful design layouts to capture your audience's attention. So try out a few of these cool tricks as you employ an Adobe InDesign software that's equipped to help you succeed. Thanks again for watching and I hope you enjoyed this video and found it useful and inspiring. I would love to hear what you think in the comments below. Keep watching and keep learning. I'll see you next time. Bye!